If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry, it says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You have to skip and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you so we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch, indeed. Actually, don't buy our merch. There is a... You see that little baby right there? There's a little baby right there. Uh, okay, guys, so we have a young lady that is pregnant, so we want to support her through her pregnancy. And um, looks like the baby it's gonna be the good. Microphone. I'm sorry. Here you go, baby. Speak into the microphone. Bye. Buy me a onesie. <laughs> Buy onesies. <laughs> so uh, it'll be in the comment section as well as on the thingamajiggy. So help out if you can. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> stop pumping vitamins, Vin. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are gonna be listening to some vit. Hey, uh, uh, Daniel Montgomery. Uh, there was a very interesting discussion that I think you should listen to on the rewind of this song. So uh, The song before? The song before, the Green Day song. It's a very important know. message for young people. Check it out. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Vinitsoragmail.com. Okay, guys. We have a uh, a song from the big homie, Super Static. I don't know if this dude is in the band or not. Are you in the band? Let me check the email. <laughs> Oh, boy. He wouldn't say if he was in the band or not. I, I wouldn't either. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he was in the band. Now. The name <laughs> I of the band, say it either. The name of the band is Super Static. But if, uh, but if you are in the band, uh, I tip my hat Yo, to Oh, yeah, you. he's in the band. He is in the band. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, well played, sir. Well played, well played, sir. Well played. Okay. Okay, who uh, are you in the band? Who are you in the band, sir? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm the main composer. Okay, good. So this song is based off of a short story. I know you didn't you didn't tell us to read this, but I'm gonna read it anyway. Um, this it's based on a it's a short story by what did you say it was? Oh, uh, Harlan Ellison sci-fi short story. It's a post-apocalyptic science fiction story. Yes, post-apocalyptic science fiction, which is actually I actually like that genre to be honest with you. Really. Yeah, you know, everything's all fucked up and yeah. people got to figure out a way to live and all yeah, that Yeah, you jazz. know, I used to like that until the pandemic and now I'm like, oh God. Also true. Seriously, I'm with that. I'm like, I'm with oh, that. we're living it. I don't want to watch it. Uh, super static. I have no mouth. I must speak. Right? Is that right? Uh, Jeez, babe. Every time you do this, I don't know because it's not on my list. Yeah, it's not on your list. Right here? I have, I no, have mouth, no mouth and, and I, I must, must scream, scream, not speak. Scream. All right, let's do it.
brief introduction because apparently we're watching the wrong video clip. So, Soraya, talk to the people. Oh, goodness. Here we go again. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it did sound very doomy. So, Super Static informed us that we are skipping half the lyrics. We can't we're not trying to do that. So We can't do that. That can't be done. Super Static sounding damn nice, and it's just the beginning. Very good. <laughs> Uh, do you have the lyrics? I do have the lyrics. I have them. Okay. Don't, don't you worry. Terminator theme. Is this Skynet? Yeah, I liked the animation style as well. I did. It's, it I'm is like, a, it. I gotta say, it is a little bit creepy having those visuals with like the baby face advertisement that, you know, we're trying to get people to buy for the registry. <laughs> Just a little bit weird seeing this little baby's like... <laughs> Right? Well, there was one where the, the baby, person the baby's, all... yeah, the baby's eyes are like angled yeah, this that's way. What I'm it's like the so it's like, like the baby was looking at the car, like this is not a good situation. You forced me here. It's not. A, this is not a good situation. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Okay. All right. All right. So, so we're we're back, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're downloading the song. <laughs> Skyler, what? You love it? Why? <laughs> that's so funny. Well, he loves the baby being traumatized. No, love when Sori talks to us. When you say talk to them, and oh, then I'm talk like, to the ah, people. It's talk so to the awkward. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, friends said, hurry it up. I got to go soon. All uh, right. Good night, Davey. Stay safe. Franz, stay cool. Franz, See you next time. Trust me, brother. I'm doing my best. But we, we, we got to get, get the right download, huh? And, of course, this is when the, the downloader decides it's 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 going to give up the ghost. Yeah. Go I'll to the other one. God. Huh? Just use the other one. Really? I, I, I know. love when you give me, uh, when you tell me to do very obvious things. And yet things. you still didn't. Well, sometimes when you refresh it, it, it yeah, it's uh, not. Kind of Just works. use the other one, as I've instructed you to do. So. <laughs> uh, oh, be, be put on the spot. That's why exactly, Mary, Skylar. Married life. Married life. <laughs> it happens life. so many oh, times. Ah, you too. dumb butt. That's not the. Ah, oh, you dumb butt. I got it done. Blah 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 blah. Look at that. Blah, Two blah, seconds blah, left. Blah. All right, we're coming right back. All right, losers. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Uh. Let's try this one last time. I have no mouth and I must scream by the band Super Static. Let's do this shit. Let's go.
All right. That was I Have No Mouth, I Must Speak. Yeah, that was interesting. Okay, so it seemed really doomy, right? That's doom. It was very doomy. I'm not a fan of doom, but I can see if I put this song with other doom songs that I've heard, they did really good. Yeah, he did. He did really good. And he's like almost like a one-man band. Or is he? You know what this reminded me of? What? Remember the last escape room? Shout out to the Misery Machine, by the way. Gang, gang. Remember the last escape room we did? And it was supposed to be a scary one? Yeah. It was with the body parts and then the lights. I hated that one. You know that uneasy feeling? Yes. Like, this could have been the soundtrack to that. Oh, uh, for sure. It was a very, very uneasy feeling. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was, I wasn't, but I chuckled to myself when uh, Sadie, uh, who is, who is the Oracle of the stream said, this sounds very controlled. Yeah. And the reason I chuckled at that, and I don't know if uh, the band was going for this, but it's based on this short story. And in the story, it's about this, uh, basically it's called an allied master computer in AM. Okay. And basically this AM gets self-awareness. Um, and it's basically upset that it has to exist because it doesn't choose to exist and it can't do anything. Mm. That's why he's saying, you have no eyes, you have no teeth, how does it feel, da 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 because he's like, so basically this, this, this thing kills all of humanity and he leaves five alive. Yeah. And then he traps them basically in an underground housing thingamajig. Oh my God. And basically keeps them immortal so that they have to suffer with existence like he has to suffer with existence. So, the fact that it was so controlled, oh my gosh. it was speaking from the perspective of this AM, this yeah. master computer. So, yeah. it would have a human but robotic element yeah. simultaneous to it, which they was communicated in the yeah. song. Which is interesting because there was a massive big name band that we reviewed yesterday. People were like, no, you don't understand. The music is communicating. But it seems like this guy... I'm sorry to say this guy, Alex, whatever your name is, did a better job of using the music. Respectfully. Res- respectfully, respectfully. <laughs> but it, it looked like he did a better job of using the music to communicate the yeah. story yeah. than the other guys did, which is going to be blasphemous to these people. That's yeah. why I'm not mentioning the name because I don't want Alex to to bear our sins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, like um, it, it, it looks, it, it, it felt very kind of robotic and very uh, mathematical, which is the way that you would expect an evil kind of uh, super intelligent, uh, d- almost deus ex machina type of yeah. situation yeah. where the, the robot becomes alive. Well, ever... especially he trapped them underground, you said. Yeah. So it almost, it didn't, like the sound musically, I don't know, maybe it was my headphones or something. I don't know. To me, the sound was a little bit duller, like a little bit muffled. And so that to me was like, okay, you know, there would be like the frustration and the chaos of the injustice and you're stuck underground. This thing's in control. There's only five of you. Like I felt like the music like made me feel that. Yeah, but I felt like that was a production issue. That That's some feedback I had for the song was like, I wish I wish oh, I that thought it was on purpose. Yeah, I, I'd like to hear. And, you know, it's like I say, we can't always give you a positive review, dear listener. But I would have liked to have heard better production on the vocals. Because if I didn't have the lyrics and, and metal is like this, if you don't have the lyrics, you really don't know what's going on. But I would have liked more balance on the on the vocal side um, than than what we heard. I felt like, oh, that's production. I didn't really feel necessarily like that was on purpose. But if it was on purpose, I disagree with the decision it's my opinion i wish i wish i had more vocal uh uh whatever you disagree though you like you liked the struggling vocals versus the the the, i didn't feel like it was struggling i just felt like it was it was sort of reserved or controlled or you know i i can't really like nail down like what it was but it it just kind of felt like but then when i found out that the storyline is they're trapped underground by this machine um, just, just a little throw out there. Have you seen that machine? It's like an arm and it's, it's robotic Yeah. and it splurts out what looks like blood Yeah. yeah. and it just spends its entire life. Just, it was, it was set up to clean up the mess. Yes. And so it just works forever. I hate that thing. I feel so bad for it. It's so weird. Why do I feel bad for a machine arm? Well, that's the entire point of these things is that you're supposed to relate to the, this, this poor machine gets, 
the gift of self-awareness, but it's got no mouth, it's got no teeth, it can't scream, it's a uh, computer. So it's, it's it has to yeah. exist. Yeah. And so it's taking its vengeance on mankind, because if he completely eliminates all mankind, then mankind is going to be able to rest, and he's just going to have to exist for all eternity as this monad mm -hmm. type of thing, which is interesting, which is what non-Trinitarians say about God, that he was just their conscious yeah. existence without, yeah. without uh, yeah. whatever. I get what you're going for from a production angle, though. The vocals are too... Embed and blended in the mix sounds more like the vocals are fighting the instruments and complementing them. Okay, so there's another guy I felt the same way about, about the vocal style. And it wasn't just me, dear listener! But the band said I was correct, so... Yeah, I think the... I think the uh, Ex Machina was such a great movie, Alicia. You don't always get what you want, guys. Sorry is correct. Okay, so he did it on purpose. Okay, well then, yeah, you can't always get what you want. I agree, I agree. Uh, but but I wanted more of the vocals of the mix. But but yeah, he did a really really good job with with doing it. Like I agree with you. I, I'm not a I'm not a Doom fan. Um, this felt more like if they do this movie or even if they do a short version of this movie this has to be in a soundtrack right oh for sure no like no bullshit like let's say elon musk or something did some like you know elon musk should do that he should have an entire series of dystopian things on youtube this has got to be a remastered version has got to be on the soundtrack and there, there were some times when, like, you had some Marilyn Manson style vocals. In my opinion, you had some, some of the the drumming felt a little bit industrial, which I thought was cool. Oh, this um, is uh, the Ron vocals says, were. Go ahead. Go ahead. Says that the vocals were like that just to show the inability to communicate. At least it sounded like that to me. I mean, the name of the the, the song is "I Have No Mouth." Mm -hmm. I must scream. So that again, that makes sense. It might be that this guy's just smarter than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, dummy! Mm -hmm. uh, but I want what I want! So it is what it is. Um, yeah, this definitely has to be on the soundtrack to this to this movie. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, why are you not reacting to Ghosts and Korn's new songs? Uh, because uh, everybody's reacting to those, number one. And number two, we're an audience-driven show. Uh, once we catch up to everybody, we will react to those, though, inshallah. Um, in the end of the story, sorry for the spoilers, the machine deforms the last survivor so he's got no limbs or any way to stop it. Holy oh shit. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a... Wow, ooh. that's a fucking... That's a nightmare, huh? Ooh. That is a it's real... Intense. That's a real nightmare. So, I kind of want... Super static. Do ha! you create music like that all over the place? Like... Do you, uh, ah! like, do you follow those stories? I knew my buddy Alan would do it. Shout out to Alan. Uh, Yay. <laughs> hey, send, send an, e send an email to, um, does he, he's got your secret email, right? Alan? Yeah. Yeah. AT? Yeah, DJ yeah, yeah, AT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send that to me at the secret email and I'll, uh, I'll handle it from there. Yay, Alan. And obviously Alan did above and beyond like he always does because that's what he does. <laughs> Uh, that being has no mouth. Okay, so he uh, he did it. I have no mouth. I must scream, Andronicus. Um, I'd like to include that one as a part of a future stream. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. We'll talk about it offline. Um, let's just focus here. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I that, mean... that would make a lot of sense for the vocals. That's brilliant. Whether I like it or not, is separate from the artistic that's but see that makes sense to me yeah. the whole debate that i got into yesterday it still doesn't make sense to me <laughs> to this moment that makes sense to me uh i don't like it but it makes sense mm -hmm. it's brilliant very very brilliant uh what's up carrington jackson hey shout out to my buddy carrington um that's the last line of the character i have no mouth i must screen i give my props to supersonic um damn brilliant all right, what do you get a song? That's also really fucking terrifying. It really is. If you really think about it. It really, really is. Especially because, like, it kind of makes sense for the machine to, like, leave the guy's mouth so then he can watch the person scream. You know what I mean? Because he can't scream. 
But at the same time, did he silence the person? Was the person like they have no limbs and nothing? They're just like yeah, oh. taking my arms, taking my legs. Yeah, uh, it's horrible. You know what? So when we were kids, I did not like any meanness happening to animals, insects, nothing. Like nobody should be mean to literally anything. And for some reason, like I don't know why this had happened, but I had not in like my, my immediate family, but there were family members that were close to me, and I didn't understand because they were Christians. So I thought we should have like, this to me seemed like something that shouldn't even be questioned. Well, anyway, my cousin would take daddy long legs. They're the spiders that have like a tiny little body in the middle that's half the size of a pencil eraser. Pretty sure everybody knows with, what like, the daddy long legs, legs is. Just in case people are from other places that don't have daddy long legs. I don't know. All places. You do. know they're actually scorpions. They're not spiders. Daddy long legs? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Gross. Anyway, I don't like spiders. I hate spiders. Don't even come near me with it. Well, good. So he would take the scorpions. body and he would pull all the legs off and then he would throw it and then just like the little ball body would just be like bouncing on it. And it was so sick to me. I thought it was so mean. And so when that line got, I was like, it like reminded me like you have nothing but just your torso left and they got rid of it. Oh, I don't like that. It is really fascinating, though, that if God is not a trinity, they're basically saying that that's what he is, that he was just there for trillions of years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I was going to say something bad. But he won't. But I won't. Exercise some discipline. Um, yeah, right, that's a, so that's what a do you bleak fucking story. And the song is, is bleak and terrifying along with it. I don't think. I wish we would have watched the visuals one, though. Yeah, I know. Me, too. Me too. I you got to put the visuals back on the long song, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Um, um that's why it was really cool. You know, for the thumbnail, I'm gonna have we're gonna have the baby looking at that guy in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm like, what the fuck is your problem, am? Uh, okay, so I'm going uh, homemade spaghetti. Mm, okay, um, so I'm gonna give this a. Okay, so for me, there's two rating systems. There's one that's like, okay, this is a. This is a band that's trying to establish itself, and these are established bands. Doom is not my type of music. Like, if I, yeah, so so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna give this one like an eight point seven, eight point seven. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I'm gonna give this one an eight dot five actually. Uh, I would have given it a seven, but I want to hear more of the vocals. I'm sorry, I have to give you an honest review, dear listener. Uh, eight dot five for me. Um, <laughs> Which is pretty crazy because this song... We don't like Doom. One, so. we don't like Doom. And two, this song jumped on to basically some classics. Like all the songs, we, the, the Neil Young, the Linkin Park, the, mm -hmm. you know, those are all Def Leppard, classic, 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 mm -hmm. classic. And then to, to be contrasted with those groups... You could have really got a low score. I was certain. Facts. I was certain. Once I found out that it was like his band, I was like, oh, this guy's going to get a five. Holy shit. Um, but but you really came through. Mm -hmm. And and you made some risky decisions. And I respect the hell out of you for that. <laughs> um, uh, uh, give me a remastered version. So, okay. so Amy Lee Forever. Sorry, you got to watch this video uh, to kill your spider fear. You know, to be honest with you, I don't know if I should trust that or not trust that. I've been lied to. And people. One time. Here's a story. It's I'm probably a sure bunch I told of naked, you this story. It's probably a bunch sure. of naked women. <laughs> That's gonna help you with Anyway, so we were at a Super <laughs> Bowl party. Pleasure. My my family didn't get into Super Bowl, but there was a Super Bowl party, and we actually went one year. Well, my sister was in the basement with the teenagers, and there was a punching bag down there, like a big like kicking bag, big full of sand, like old fashioned. This thing, I had never actually ever felt one of those, or even really been around any of those. So I came down the stairs, and my sister's like, "Yo, sorry, go over that thing." And she said, punch it as hard as you possibly can. She said, your hand just sinks right into such an amazing feeling. You're going to love it. Because I've always, you know, how sometimes I'll say, I wish that I could just sink down into a whole bath full of like slime or something like that feeling. Oh, the texture, I guess, or something. Anyway, so I was like, oh man, this is going to be so great. Now, I should have known <laughs> how things went publicly when my sister and I were together. I should have known. So I went over there. I like pulled back as hard as I could. I punch this thing with everything in me it hurt so friggin' bad but i was way too prideful to show that but i was suffering what does this have to do with spiders i don't trust you amy i don't know if this is actually going to cure my spider thing or if this is a hard bag that's not really going to sink my hand into it i just think it's a bunch of naked women because i think what's going to occur you think it's a bunch of naked women <laughs> but then at the same time i feel like amy wouldn't do that but who knows anyway uh, so there you have it. We enjoyed the stream. We enjoyed you guys. Anybody who uh, who does this, um, takes part in this, whoop, over here, this baby shower, just send us the uh, 
the the proof of your purchase and uh, we'll get your songs on the list. Yes, dear listener. Yes. Having said that, dear listener, thank you guys for hanging out with us. We love you as normal. Vin, out. Sorry, out. <laughs>